We now know that statin drugs double the risk of diabetes, and this is on top of the news that statin drugs also accelerate aging and turn you into a senior citizen very rapidly. They also cause chronic uh, muscle fatigue and the degradation of muscle tissue. Uh, at the same time that statins destroy your memory and do nothing to extend your life. Uh, this was published in the Journal of General Internal Medicine. shows that statin users are more than twice as likely to, to develop diabetes compared to uh, those who didn't use statins. We re we've reported this on naturalnews.com. Additionally, people who take statins are 250% more likely to develop diabetes in conjunction with complications, including nerve complications such as diabetic neuropathy, uh, kidney complications, ooh, dialysis, how lovely, and eye damage. So if you, if you hate your eyes and your kidneys and your pancreas and your heart and your brain and your muscles, take statin drugs. Yeah, they're that good. Um, let us not forget that the, the medical community of prostitute doctors who are bribed by drug companies to push statin drugs, which are the most profitable drugs currently being sold, let us not forget that these people, these morons, a few years ago said that they should put statin drugs into the water supply. That's right. They said statin drugs were so amazing, were so good for everyone, that they should just drip them into the water supply alongside fluoride, of course, because that's so awesome, too. And that babies, infants, children, everybody should be drinking trace amounts of statin drugs because they're going to save so many lives. This is what they said. And this is what they believed because, of course, they're incompetent. They're, they're prostitutes for the pharmaceutical industry. So they push statin drugs on the people, even though statin drugs are causing diabetes. Well, why, why is this such a common side effect of statin drugs? The answer is, my friends, it's all by design. It's called continuity of business profits. If you're a drug company and you have, you have no ethics, which it's kind of redundant to say that, right? If, if, you're, if you're a CEO of Big Pharma, almost by definition, you're a total prick, right? You, you, you will do anything to make money, no matter what it does to humanity. You know, look at that guy, Martin Screlly. You know, buys up, buys up drugs, raises the price 50,000%, <laughs> whatever, just, just says, yeah, hey, those drugs that used to cost you 50 bucks a month, now there's like, it's going to cost you, you know, thousands of dollars a month. That's what they do. So when they want to make money, they introduce a drug that causes other diseases when you take it. So you take, you take statin drugs, you get diabetes. And then when you get diabetes, what do you do? You go back to the doctor. What does he prescribe? Diabetes drugs. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Right? And then when, when you take the diabetes drugs, what do they cause? Liver damage. All of a sudden you need liver drugs and liver tests. And hey, if they hit the jackpot at the hospital, maybe a liver transplant. That's where they make the, the big money. And now they're going to grow livers in pigs uh, using genetically engineered pigs to grow human livers and hearts and other organs like kidneys so they can slaughter those pigs and transplant those organs into the patients while billing uh, Obamacare for the procedure thereby turning patients into repeat profit centers by exploiting, uh, genetically exploiting innocent animals whose organs are harvested to replace the organs destroyed by the pharmaceutical companies in the humans who thought their doctor knew something about health. Does that make sense? That's how insane it has all become. Totally insane. So... I find it fascinating that once again, I sounded the alarm on this 10 years ago and warned people, hey, statin drugs are toxic, statin drugs are deadly, you don't need statin drugs, and high cholesterol is not a disease. <laughs> it's not a disease, come on. Uh, you, can, you, can, 
you know, you need some cholesterol in your body to be healthy in the first place. Cholesterol alone is not the enemy. And if your cholesterol is out of balance, you can easily balance it by changing your diet and eating healthier. I'm one of the early people who who talked about uh, margarine being a toxic food. I talked about trans fatty acids being totally toxic, uh, hydrogenated vegetable oils being completely toxic to the body. Uh, I said it's healthier to eat real butter than fake butter, genetically modified, partially hydrogenated canola oil or soybean oil. That's what people were eating. And of course, they were getting heart disease and atherosclerosis and all kinds, all kinds of uh, cardiovascular related uh, diseases and disorders because they're eating fake fats, genetically modified cheap fats, high in omega-6 fatty acids. And so the, end is the, same, the same industry that pushed for fake fats, you know, your doctor saying, don't eat eggs, eggs might be dangerous, don't eat animal fat, might be bad for you, don't eat butter, oh my god, butter, butter. These same morons said you should eat fake fat you, and then you should take statin drugs and you shouldn't eat avocados because they have fat in them. You know, this kind of total nonsense advice. Uh, fortunately, fortunately, the uh, the tide has long since uh, turned on all of this as more and more people wake up. You know, the longer I live, the more enjoyable it is because the more I see the world waking up to the very things that I was saying 10 years ago. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm the guy who said low fat diets are deadly. You got to have healthy fats in your diet. You know, I was, I think the first person to talk about asazanthin as a fat soluble a carotenoid an antioxidant, you know, or one of, one of the first to talk about it in a big public way. Um, I was one of the first to sound the alarm on, you know, a, a, a margarine and, and fake fats and, and many, many of these issues. Um, glyphosate in wheat products, you know, um, I was one of the first to, to come out and say publicly that, uh, that gluten is probably not the problem you think it is. It's actually the glyphosate in the wheat that's causing your so-called gluten problems. So I've been at the forefront of many of these issues. And the longer I live, the more I see the world waking up to the very things that I was saying a long time ago. I warned about diabetes drugs. I warned about antidepressant drugs and their links to violent acts and suicides and school shootings, all those things. And now that's, that's a mainstream idea. It, it, it has come out that the drug companies are evil, that you shouldn't drug children with mind-altering chemicals. You know, the idea that food can prevent cancer, that was something that I was talking about 13 years ago. Now, finally, it's, it's, it's a mainstream topic. Everybody understands, oh my gosh, yeah, food can prevent disease if you choose the right food. So I knew this day was coming on statin drugs. I knew statin drugs were toxic. I warned about it. You can look through the whole history of naturalnews.com. Just search for statin drugs. You'll see many, many articles from myself and others uh, warning people about the risk of statins. And I personally warned many people to get off statin drugs. And some of them have, and it saved their lives. So this, this has been a long time coming. But isn't it amazing that these are still the best-selling drugs in America, that the FDA won't pull them off the market? Can you imagine if a medicinal herb doubled the risk of diabetes? Herbalists would be called murderers. They would be arrested, tried, and, and imprisoned for endangering the public. Can you imagine if chiropractors had, a, had a, a, some kind of procedure that doubled your risk of diabetes? They, they would be called... Uh, quacks. But, but when the pharmaceutical companies can sell you a high profit chemical that gives you not just diabetes, but also chronic muscle fatigue, dementia, early Alzheimer's, kidney disorders, nerve system disorders, eye damage, all of this, well, they're called, that's called medicine. And the people who push that, it, they're called doctors. And you're supposed to go see them. You're supposed to do what they tell you to do, even though they're killing you. And the FDA doesn't see any problem with that. And the FTC, Federal Trade Commission, doesn't see any problem with drug companies advertising these toxic chemicals directly to the public through television, magazine ads, 
the internet, and so on. So that's how insane the system is. Remember, if any other system of medicine, you know, Chinese medicine, for example, if they had a product that caught that that doubled the risk of diabetes, it would be taken off the market. There'd be nationwide mainstream media news talking about how dangerous that is. Oh my God, millions of people have been put at risk by this toxic herb. But when it's a drug, oh, it's all okay. All okay. Because that's their revenue model, people. This is how they make money. They make you sick. You have to understand this crucial point. This is something I've been saying for many, many years, which will also become obvious to everyone very soon, if not already in many people's minds. The drug industry is not interested in making you healthy. In fact, they have zero interest in that. That is the opposite of their interest. If you are healthy, you don't need their product. Let me tell you, you think a crack dealer wants his customers to no longer need crack? Of course not. You think a heroin dealer wants his, his addicts to stop being addicts and, and never need his product again? Of course not. You think a statin drug company wants people to to have such a healthy circulatory system that they no longer need their statin drugs? Of course not. And it's no coincidence that these companies that make statin drugs also make the diabetes drugs that you're going to need a few months or a few years down the road because you're taking statin drugs. And it's also no coincidence that these same companies make the liver drugs that you're going to need after you're on the diabetes drugs. And when it destroys your kidneys... It's, it's no coincidence that these same companies are also involved in the kidney dialysis market or the chemotherapy market or the vaccine market, which also causes kidney damage due to the mercury in the flu shots. It's no coincidence, people. This is all by design. This is their fundamental profit model at work. They want you to get sicker and sicker and sicker. They don't quite want you to die because then they can't bill the government for treating you. So they want to keep you alive, but sick as long as possible. They want you to remain sick and dependent on their chemicals until your 70s or 80s or 90s, if they can pull that off. And they call that life extension. You see, they say, oh yeah, we, we reduced the death rate. We extended lifespan as long as those people took all our chemicals. You see, that's not living. That's, that's chemical dependence. It's not a quality of life, but it's a very profitable system for the corporations. So my conclusion and my positive advice here is beware of the gateway drugs of big pharma. Statin drugs are gateway drugs because once you use them, it's a gateway to you needing other drugs as other organ systems in your body begin to fail from the statin drugs. So if you start on a statin and you think, ah, yeah, my doctor told me to just take a statin. It's going to balance my cholesterol. Everything's going to be okay. So you start with a statin drug. Pretty soon you're on another drug, a second drug, and then a third drug, and then a fourth drug. Then you're on a whole huge list of toxic chemicals that have never been tested in combination. You have no idea what the total aggregate effect is on your liver, on your kidneys, on your heart, on your brain, on your digestion, on your moods or sexual function or sleep ability, sleep quality. They have no idea. As long as you keep buying their drugs and taking their drugs and they can bill your insurance company, they can bill Medicaid, Medicare, Obamacare, whatever, whatever system they come up with, that's what it all is. You are not a human being to them. You are a vessel for billing the insurance companies to make money off of your sickness. That's it. If you believe anything else, you are, you have been propagandized and made delusional by these drug company ads and their prostitute doctors that get rich off of your sickness and disease. Now, if you want to find real doctors, and by that I mean healers, people who empower you to heal yourself, then you have to go into the world of holistic healing arts, naturopathic physicians, complementary medicine, alternative medicine. Chinese medicine, chiropractic care, 
uh, holistic dentistry, all of these areas, this is where you're going to find real doctors who, even from the Latin root of the word, should be teachers. A real doctor does not claim the ability to control your health outcome. A real doctor does not say, I'm going to treat you. I'm going to cure you. A real doctor says, I'm going to allow you to heal yourself. And here's the strategy for making that happen. That's what a real doctor does. A real doctor empowers you, gives you power to take control over your own health outcome. A horrible doctor, i.e. a traditional oncologist, a cancer doctor, a drug pushing general practitioner, whatever, they claim that they are in charge of your health and their chemical is going to override your biology or your endocrinology or your uh, physiology in some way that's going to mask some symptom while destroying some other organ that's going to bring you back into his office a few months or a few years later to do the whole thing over again with some other chemical, some other drug, some other side effect. Bad doctors are doctors who think they control your physiology. Good doctors are doctors who empower you to change your outcome in a more positive way through the spontaneous self-healing ability that every one of us is born with. As long as we have the right nutrients and we are not bathed in the toxic chemicals that come from pharmaceuticals and vaccines and environmental toxins, pesticides, herbicides, fragrance chemicals, laundry detergents, dryer sheets are full of toxic chemicals. And most people's homes in America are bathed in toxic dryer sheet chemicals, and they smell like cancer. If you ask me, I can smell them a mile away. I can't stand to be around them. They just smell like like bounce or tide or some other toxic chemical. And to me, that just smells like cancer because that's, that's what they're growing inside of them. Cancer tumors. Anyway, that's, that's another topic. I guess we can cover that later. Uh, nevertheless, don't take statin drugs unless you really are suicidal and you want to go that way. If you have a desire to die while enriching the drug companies, then statin drugs are the perfect choice. But if instead you want to live and you want to live a quality life and you want to have joy and health and abundance and clarity of mind and good, healthy, functioning organs, then you need to say no to Big Pharma for all these ridiculous treatments of chronic degenerative disease conditions, most of which they just totally invent and fabricate. It's called disease mongering. Uh, their definition of, quote, high cholesterol, for example, keeps changing every couple of years. They keep lowering the numbers to make sure that virtually everyone needs to be, quote, treated with their, quote, medicine because they change the numbers. You know, pretty soon, if you have any cholesterol at all, it's going to be called high. You're going to be born and they're going to say the baby has high cholesterol. Yeah, <laughs> let's 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 hit it with the statin drugs uh, and, and drip it into the water supply, too. This is the way these people think they're insane. They're totally insane. They're utterly corrupt, incompetent, dishonest, unethical and and uh, just wildly, wildly ignorant of how real health really works. Uh, if you're lucky, you can find a good doctor uh, who is more complementary, medicine-oriented, or naturopathy-oriented. If you're lucky, if you find someone like that, stick with them. Him or her. Often it's a her. By the way, a lot of a lot of female doctors are really into complementary medicine. Just just a hint. A lot of the male doctors are the most arrogant. Well, let's just say that total dickheads, it, really the most arrogant dickheads that you can imagine that that's, that's what they are. And they, they love making money while making people sick, especially oncologists. They're the worst. They, they actually sell poison for profit. It's sick, sick people. Anyway, avoid that. Stay healthy. Get off these toxic drugs. Work with a naturopathic physician who can help you in this process. Change your diet change your exercise, change your lifestyle, and you change your options. If you change your options, you change your health outcome, and you too can live a long, healthy life completely free of toxic pharmaceuticals. This is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger. Check out my website at naturalnews.com.